Have you ever thought about how being yourself can make your friendships and relationships better? Or how old teachings from Buddhism might help us with our problems today? And have you considered how taking time for yourself and celebrating your wins could change how you connect with people? These are big questions that can lead us to some pretty amazing discoveries about how to get along better with others and feel more connected. Welcome to our journey on wisdom in real life. Today, we're diving into how ancient wisdom can teach us a thing or two about making our relationships stronger and more meaningful. It's like finding a treasure map that shows us how to be kinder, more understanding, and really listen to each other. Imagine having a secret recipe that helps everyone get along better, feel happier, and support each other's dreams. That's what we're talking about here. In our busy lives, we often forget to pause and really connect with the people around us. But what if I told you that by bringing some old Buddhist ideas into our daily chats and hangouts, we could find deeper, more joy-filled connections? This adventure we're starting on Wisdom in Real Life is all about learning how to build strong, heart-to-heart -heart bridges with others based on being kind, really getting where they're coming from, and caring about their feelings. We'll explore how to talk and listen in ways that bring us closer, how important it is to respect each other's personal space, and how awesome it is when we grow and learn together. We'll see how treating everyone equally and sharing in life's ups and downs can make our bond stronger. We'll also learn that it's okay to have our own goals and take care of our own happiness. It's all about finding the right balance between sharing with others and taking time for ourselves. This trip is going to be all about changing for the better, finding ways to connect more deeply with friends and family, and discovering how ancient advice can be super useful today. We'll learn to appreciate the quiet moments that help us think more clearly, celebrate the big and small victories in life, and understand that it's okay to need some space sometimes. By the end of our journey, you'll see how these old wisdom nuggets can really light up our modern lives. And as we go through these ideas together, remember, the lessons we learn about getting along with others start with the lessons we learn about taking care of ourselves. So, let's start this exciting adventure together. Stick with us till the end to really understand how these timeless teachings can shine a new light on our lives today. And if this talk makes you see things a little differently, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to Wisdom in Real Life. Let's jump into this exploration together, where every step brings us closer to understanding what it truly means to connect with another person. 1. Mindful Communication Talking and listening to each other in a kind way can really change our lives. It's like holding out a hand to someone, showing them you're there and you care. Mindful communication is all about using our words gently, listening with all our heart, and making sure we're truly there for each other. It's like painting a picture together, where everyone's color is needed and valued. When we use kind words, it's like giving someone a small gift of happiness. And listening? It's not just waiting for your turn to talk. It's about really hearing what someone is saying, feeling what they feel. This kind of listening shows you truly care and that you're really with them in that moment. It's a beautiful way to make someone feel special and understood. Choosing our words carefully is like planting seeds in a garden. We want to plant seeds of kindness and hope so they can grow into something beautiful. Saying thank you or showing we're grateful makes others feel loved and appreciated. It's a simple way to warm someone's heart. Sometimes, not saying anything is the best thing we can do. Silence can be powerful. It gives us time to think and lets the quiet speak for us. When we do speak, let's try to lift each other up, not pull each other down. Imagine talking to a friend in a way that helps them feel better about themselves. That's the kind of talk that builds bridges between hearts. Being real and honest when we talk helps everyone feel comfortable to be themselves too. It's like saying, it's okay to be you and it's okay to show how you really feel. Sharing our true feelings can bring us closer together. It makes our friendships stronger and more real. Every time we talk to someone, it's a chance to grow a little, 
to learn something new about them or even about ourselves. Being patient and trying to understand where they're coming from is so important. It's like looking at the world through their eyes for a moment, which can make a big difference in how we see things. This way of talking and listening isn't just about words. It's about creating a space where everyone feels safe and loved, a place where it's okay to share your thoughts and feelings without fear. It's how we build real, deep connections with each other. Imagine if every word we spoke and every time we listened, we did it with kindness and care. Our world would be a warmer, friendlier place. By choosing to communicate this way, we're not only making our own lives better, but also adding a little bit of goodness to the world around us. So, let's keep these ideas in mind as we go about our days. Let's talk with kindness, listen with our whole hearts, and be there for each other. This is how we make real connections, and it all starts with us. One kind word, one heartfelt listen at a time. Two, respecting boundaries. Respecting boundaries is like understanding everyone has their own invisible bubble, and it's really important we don't pop it without permission. Think of it as knowing where an invisible line is that helps everyone feel safe and happy. It's a bit like when someone has a do not enter sign on their room door. You know you should knock and wait to be invited in. Consent, or asking if it's okay before you do something that involves another person, is super important. It's just like asking your friend if they want to share their snack before you take a piece. This shows you care about what they feel and want. Everyone has their own space, like a personal bubble, and we need to make sure we don't burst through it without them saying it's okay. People have different comfort zones. Some might be okay with a high five, while others might not want to be touched at all. It's like some people loving roller coasters, while others feel scared just looking at them. We need to understand and respect these differences. Respect is like the glue in friendships and relationships. It means we listen to each other and take care of each other's feelings and boundaries. Privacy is a big deal too. Everyone has things they keep to themselves, like a diary or a special memory. We should never try to sneak a peek into someone's diary without them offering to share it with us. Listening isn't just about hearing words. It's also about noticing when someone is silent or need space. It's like understanding that when a friend is quiet, they might need some alone time. Being flexible means understanding that what's okay one day might not be okay another day. It's like how sometimes you're in the mood to share your fries, and other times you want them all to yourself. Being your own person, even when you're close to someone else, is really important too. It's like having your own hobbies and friends besides the ones you share. Talking about boundaries is key. Just like you'd tell a friend your secret handshake, you should also tell them how you like to be treated and what makes you uncomfortable. Saying no and being okay when someone says no to us is part of being a good friend. It shows we respect each other's choices. All of this helps make friendships stronger and more trusting. It's like building a treehouse together. You need strong roots of respect and understanding so the treehouse can be a fun and safe place for everyone. So, let's be great friends by respecting each other's bubbles, being clear about our own lines, and always caring about how our friends feel. By doing this, we make sure everyone feels respected, safe, and happy to be themselves. This way, we all get to grow stronger together, just like a big, happy family of trees in a forest, each with enough space to grow and enough sunshine to share. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wisdom in Real Life channel. 3. Equality and Partnership Imagine all of us are part of a big team where everyone is equally important and works together to win. That's exactly what we should aim for in our friendships and relationships. Treating everyone as equals and working side by side is like sharing the secret code to a treasure of happiness. It's about making sure everyone feels their voice matters, from choosing which game to play to deciding on a group project. Think of it like being on a sports team where every player, whether they're the goalie or forward, plays a crucial role. In the same way, in our relationships, everyone's thoughts and feelings are important. 
Sharing decisions, like figuring out together what movie to watch, shows that we respect and value each other's opinions. Recognizing what each person brings to the group is key. Maybe one friend is the jokester who keeps everyone laughing, while another is great at planning fun outings. Just like in a music band where the drums are as important as the guitar, everyone in a relationship has a special role that makes the group whole. Cheering for each other's dreams and being there during tough times is all part of being a good team. It's about celebrating the big wins and even the small victories together, knowing that every step forward is a step we take together. It's also cool to have your own thing going on, like a hobby or other friends, and still share some interests together. This mix keeps things interesting and lets everyone grow both on their own and as part of the team. Appreciating our differences makes everything more fun and colorful, like a garden with lots of different flowers. Everyone has their own ideas and ways of seeing the world, and that's what makes our friendships rich and exciting. Having common goals, like being honest and kind, or planning fun adventures for the future, helps keep us connected. It's like having a map that guides us on our journey together, making sure we're heading in a direction that's good for both of us. Sharing tasks, like doing chores or helping each other with homework, means no one gets too stressed or tired. It's all about teamwork, where helping out with even the small stuff makes a big difference. Encouraging each other to try new things or to keep going when things get tough makes our bond stronger. It's like when you water a plant and give it sunlight, it grows bigger and healthier. That's what we do for each other when we support and cheer each other on. Building something beautiful together, where both people feel valued and loved, is what being partners is all about. It's creating a story where both of you are the main characters, going on adventures and facing challenges, knowing you've got each other's backs, looking back at all the fun times and the not-so-fun times, and then dreaming about the future makes our friendship or relationship even stronger. It's like having a scrapbook of all your adventures, ready to be filled with even more memories. By treating each other as equals and working together, we make our friendships and relationships into safe, happy places where everyone feels loved and important. It's here, in these relationships, that we find joy, support, and a deep connection that makes every day better. So let's make a promise to be equal partners, celebrate what makes us different, support our shared dreams, and build a future filled with respect, love, and lots of fun adventures. 4. Emotional Intelligence Emotional intelligence is like having a secret skill for understanding and handling feelings, both our own and those of people around us. It's like being a feelings detective, figuring out what we're feeling, why, and how to deal with these emotions without causing upset. It's also about being able to tell how others are feeling and knowing the best way to react to them. Let's explore how this amazing skill makes our friendships and relationships stronger and more joyful. First off, knowing what we're feeling is the starting point. It's like being a detective of your own heart. Are you feeling happy, sad, excited, or maybe annoyed? Getting to know our own emotions is the first step to understanding how to act in different situations. Then, it's all about managing our emotions. Imagine you're the captain of a ship sailing through stormy seas. Sometimes you need to navigate through big waves of anger or sadness, but if you can manage your feelings, you can find calmer waters without hurting yourself or anyone else. Understanding how others feel or empathy is like walking in their shoes. It's feeling with them and seeing things from their side. This doesn't mean we always have to agree, but it helps us connect better. Being open with our feelings is also key. It means letting down our walls and sharing what's really going on inside. This can be scary because it makes us feel vulnerable, but it also builds trust and closeness with others. Bouncing back from tough times or resilience shows our strength. It's knowing that even after a rough day, we can find ways to pick ourselves up and keep going. This toughness helps us face challenges better. 
Choosing wisely when emotions are high means not letting feelings make all our decisions. Yes, feelings are important, but they shouldn't be the boss of us. It's like using both our heart and brain to make smart choices. Helping others when they're feeling down is part of being emotionally smart too. It's offering a listening ear, a comforting hug, or just being there. Showing we care can really brighten someone's day. Spreading happiness is like being a ray of sunshine. Focusing on the good stuff and sharing our cheerfulness can make everyone around us feel happier too. Setting limits on how much we share and knowing when to say no helps keep our emotional health in good shape. It ensures we don't give too much of ourselves away and keeps our relationships healthy and balanced. Finally, cheering for our emotional growth and the growth of those around us is super important. It's like celebrating at the end of a race, recognizing how far we've come in understanding and managing our emotions and seeing that growth in others too. Building up our emotional intelligence is like going on an adventure to understand our hearts and the hearts of those around us better. It's a powerful tool that helps make our friendships and relationships stronger, happier, and more connected. By working on understanding and handling our emotions, we not only make our own lives better, but also bring more joy and understanding into the lives of those around us. Let's keep growing and using this super skill to make our world a kinder, more empathetic place. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wisdom in Real Life channel. 5. Mindfulness and Presence Mindfulness and being fully there in the moment are like super skills that can make every day a bit more special. Think of it as slowing down to really enjoy what's happening right now, whether you're talking with a friend, eating your favorite snack, or just sitting outside. This skill helps us find joy in small things and understand both ourselves and our friends better. Let's see how being mindful and present can make our friendships stronger and our days happier. First, being completely there means paying full attention to what's going on around you and inside you, just like when you're taking a picture with your mind, trying to remember every little detail. This helps us enjoy the little moments and feel closer to the people we're with. Listening with all your attention is another part of being mindful. It's about really hearing what someone is saying, not just waiting for your turn to talk. It's like turning down your own thoughts so you can hear theirs better. This makes people feel really listened to and cared for. Trying to be mindful in everyday things, like when you're doing chores or walking to school, can make ordinary moments feel special. It's about noticing the small things, like how the sun feels warm on your skin or how nice it feels to crawl into a freshly made bed. This helps us find happiness in simple things. Being fully present also means enjoying time with friends and family more. Instead of thinking about other things, you're really there, laughing and talking with them. It's like making sure you taste every bite of a delicious meal, enjoying the flavors fully. Mindfulness can even help during difficult talks. When we're really there, we're more likely to understand the other person and respond kindly. It's like walking carefully on a slippery path, making sure both of you stay safe and understand each other. Doing mindful activities together, like sitting quietly or taking a slow walk, can create special quiet moments together. It's like building a secret clubhouse where both of you can relax and feel connected without even talking. Paying attention to how we move and what our faces say without words can make a big difference too. It's like using silent signals to show we're really there and we care without having to say anything. Sometimes, just being together quietly is as good as talking. Sharing a peaceful moment, like watching the stars, can make you feel close without needing words. It's a different way to feel together and understood. Noticing and enjoying small things together, like a shared joke or a quiet moment, adds up to a lot of happiness over time. It's like collecting little happy memories that turn into a big treasure of good times. Lastly, being mindful and present helps us get to know each other better. It's like each moment of paying attention 
adds a piece to the puzzle of your friendship, making it stronger and richer. By bringing mindfulness and being fully present into our days, we open up to deeper friendships, more joy, and truly special moments. It's all about really being there, for the little things and for the people we care about, making every moment count. So, let's try to be more present and mindful, turning everyday moments into chances to connect and find joy. 6. Compassion and Kindness Compassion and kindness are like sunshine on a cold day, making everyone feel a bit warmer and brighter. When we're kind and caring, we can turn ordinary moments into special ones and make everyone around us feel loved. Let's dive into how being kind and compassionate can make a big difference in our world and in our own hearts. Imagine compassion as really getting what someone else is going through and wanting to help them feel better. It's like if you see someone feeling cold and you offer them your jacket. Compassion means feeling with them and trying to make their day a little easier, no matter if their trouble seems big or small. Kind acts are like gifts we don't expect to get paid back for. It could be as easy as smiling at someone you don't know or making a friend's favorite snack when they're having a tough day. These actions, whether they're big or little, show we care and are ready to support others. Listening with all our heart means giving someone our full focus, making them feel heard and important. It's like turning off all the background noise just to tune into what they're saying, showing them that what they think and feel really matters to us. When misunderstandings or disagreements happen, answering with kindness instead of anger can change a possible fight into a chance to understand each other better. It's like choosing to water a plant with care instead of hurting it, helping it grow instead of withering. Being generous in spirit is about sharing more than just things. It's also giving our time, attention, and effort without holding back. Think of your kindness as a light. When you light someone else's candle, it doesn't make your light less bright, but makes the room lighter for everyone. Seeing past someone's tough times to their chance for happiness is a powerful way to show compassion. It means believing in their strength and goodness, even when they can't, and being a solid support for them as they find their way. Making kindness a habit means practicing it not just when it's easy, but every single day. It's like a muscle. The more you use it, the stronger it gets, making kindness a natural part of who you are. The kindness ripple effect is real. One kind act can inspire others to be kind too, spreading warmth and care through communities, just like ripples move across water when you toss in a pebble. Putting ourselves in someone else's place, feeling their happiness and their pain, and acting with care is empathy in action. It's like walking a path together, being mindful of keeping step with each other. Celebrating kind acts, whether our own or someone else's, highlights the beauty of caring for others. It's like shining a light on all the good stuff, encouraging more kindness and compassion in a world that really needs it. Choosing to be kind and compassionate doesn't just help others, it changes us too. It opens up our hearts, makes our relationships stronger, and brings us real joy. By deciding to act with kindness and compassion, we're making every day brighter for someone else and for ourselves. Let's promise to spread a little light with our actions, making the world a kinder place for everyone. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wisdom in Real Life channel. 7. Shared Values and Goals Having the same values and goals is like being on a team where everyone wants to win the same trophy. It makes us feel close and helps us stick together through thick and thin. Let's dive into how sharing what's important to us and aiming for the same targets can make our friendships and family ties stronger and more fun. Think of shared values as the big, strong roots of a tree. These are the big ideas that matter a lot to us, like being kind, telling the truth, and looking out for each other. When our friends or family care about these things just as much as we do, it's like our tree is growing in really strong soil. It feels safe, steady, and full of trust. Making plans together, whether it's with a buddy or with our family, 
is like drawing a map to a treasure chest. It could be saving up for a cool bike, making something awesome together, or cheering each other on to reach personal goals. These shared plans give us something exciting to look forward to and make cheering for each other fun and meaningful. Sometimes, we find out, we don't all think the same way about everything, and that's okay. It's a chance to get creative and blend our ideas together, like mixing paints to create a new color. These differences can make our relationships even more special and full of surprises. When we make choices based on what we all believe is important, it's like picking the best building blocks for our fort. For example, if being honest is a big deal for us, we'll always try to be open and tell the truth. Choosing the right blocks makes sure our fort is super strong and a great place to be. Cheering for each other's dreams is a big part of sharing goals. It's like being the biggest fan for your friend or family member, happy dancing when they win and giving them a pep talk when things don't go as planned. This cheering squad makes trying for those goals more fun and less scary. It's important to find the right mix between doing things together and doing our own thing. It's a bit like finding the perfect spot on the playground swing where you're not too high and not too low. Getting it just right makes everything more fun and lets everyone feel happy and free. Having fun stuff we all like to do together makes our time with each other even better. It's like having a secret handshake or a favorite clubhouse where only we know the password. These fun times make our bond stronger and fill our days with smiles and laughter. Sometimes we need to talk things out and maybe change our plans a bit so everyone is happy. It's like steering a ship together. We might need to adjust our course to catch the wind just right. Talking and tweaking our plans helps us work better as a team and keep sailing smoothly. Throwing a little party every time we hit a milestone keeps everyone excited and motivated. It's like having a victory dance for every step we take toward our treasure. These celebrations remind us of the cool journey we're on together. Checking in on our shared values and goals as we grow is like looking at our treasure map now and then, making sure we're still excited about finding that treasure chest. As we change, we might want to add new adventures to our map or find new treasures to seek. By sharing what's important to us and aiming for the same stars, we weave a strong and happy net that can catch us when we fall and lift us higher when we fly. It's all about teamwork, learning from each other, and making the journey a big, fun adventure. This way, we make every win more thrilling and every day together a treasure. 8. Personal Growth and Development Growing and learning more about ourselves is like going on a big adventure where we discover all sorts of cool stuff about who we are and what we love to do. It's all about trying new things, figuring out how to get past stuff that scares us, and being the best we can be. When we help each other grow and cheer for every little win, we make our friendship stronger and our own lives a lot happier. Let's take a look at how working on ourselves makes everything more awesome. First up, getting to know ourselves better is like starting a treasure hunt. It's all about asking, what makes me happy? What am I scared of? What's my big dream? Knowing these things helps us make choices that lead to real smiles. Having goals is like having a map for our treasure hunt. These can be anything that matters to us, like learning to play the guitar, getting better at math, or even making a new friend. Chasing these goals keeps us moving and excited about what's next. Learning new stuff adds some sparkle to our lives. It's like picking up new colors to paint with, making everything we do brighter and more fun. When we face tough stuff and get through it, we feel super strong and brave. It's like climbing a really high hill and then looking back to see how far we've come. The view is incredible, and it makes us proud of what we've done. Having friends and family cheer us on makes this adventure way less scary and a lot more fun. It's like having your own fan club that's always there, giving high fives and hugs. This makes us feel loved and super special. Being someone else's cheerleader is really important too. It's like shining a spotlight on them and showing them they can do anything. This helps us build a team where everyone feels important 
and looked after. Keeping a good balance between going after what we want and hanging out with friends makes sure everyone feels included. It's like making sure everyone has a seat at the lunch table. This keeps our friendships tight and the adventure fun for everyone. Throwing mini parties for our wins, even the little ones, reminds us of all the cool stuff we've done. It's like putting stickers on a chart. Each one means, yay, you did it. These happy moments make the journey super sweet. Being okay with changing as we grow helps us stay excited about the future. It's knowing that it's cool to start liking new things or dreaming new dreams. It's all part of the fun. Sharing our stories with friends makes the whole adventure better. It's like sitting around a campfire, telling tales of the dragons we've fought and the mountains we've climbed. These shared stories bring us closer and fill our hearts with joy. Working on being our best selves isn't just good for us. It makes all our friendships deeper and our days shine brighter. It's a journey we can all take together, cheering each other on, celebrating every step, and exploring all the cool things life has to offer. So let's dive into this adventure with big smiles and open hearts, ready to see how amazing we can all be. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wisdom in Real Life channel. 9. Trust and Honesty Trust and honesty are super important in making friends and keeping them. It's like building a really cool treehouse together. You need strong wood for it to last and not fall apart. That's trust. And being honest is like using the right tools to build it so everything fits perfectly. Let's talk about how being honest and building trust can make our friendships awesome and strong. First, think of trust as a superhero power in friendships. It lets us share our secrets, knowing they're safe, and be real about how we feel. Trust grows like a tree, getting bigger and stronger over time as long as we take care of it. Being honest, even when it's a bit scary, is super important. It's like turning on a flashlight in a dark room, making sure there are no scary shadows. When we're honest, everything is out in the open and there's no room for misunderstandings. Being reliable or consistency is like being that friend who always shows up when they say they will. It makes us a solid, dependable part of someone's life. This helps our friends know they can count on us, no matter what. Transparency means letting our friends see the real us, sharing our thoughts and feelings. We don't have to tell them everything, but letting them into our world a bit builds trust. It's like opening windows in our treehouse, letting the light in so everything's bright and clear. When we face tough stuff together and stick through it, our friendship gets even stronger. It's like when a storm hits our treehouse, but it stays standing. Afterward, we know it can handle a little wind and rain. Saying sorry when we mess up and forgiving each other fixes trust if it gets a bit wobbly. It's like patching up a hole in our treehouse roof. It might take a bit of work, but then it's all set for more adventures. Giving each other space shows we trust our friends. We don't need to know every little thing they do, and that's totally okay. It's like having a secret nook in our treehouse where we can go to have some alone time. Being honest in what we do and choose shows we're true blue friends. It's like always using the best wood for our treehouse, so it stays awesome and safe for everyone. Knowing our friends will be there for us when things get tough and being there for them ties us together super tight. It's like holding on to each other when climbing up to our treehouse, making sure nobody falls. Celebrating when we're honest and trusting makes everyone want to keep doing it. It's like throwing a party in our treehouse because we finished a cool new part. It makes us all happy and proud. Trust and honesty make friendships super strong and fun like the best ever treehouse that we all want to hang out in. By taking care of each other and being real, we make sure everyone feels welcome, safe, and happy. Let's promise to be those awesome friends who build the coolest treehouse ever with trust and honesty as our tools. 10. Joy and Shared Experiences Joy and doing fun things together are like the cherry on top of a great day. They make good times roll and leave us with memories that make us smile long after. 
It's all about finding happiness and being together and making each moment shine. Let's check out how sharing laughs and adventures can light up our friendships and fill our hearts with joy. Noticing the little things that make us happy, like the warmth of a sunny spot or the cool breeze on a hot day, can double the fun when we share them with friends. It's like when you both laugh at the same silly joke or enjoy the crunch of leaves under your feet. These moments are simple, but sharing them makes them super special. Making happy memories together, from big adventures, like a day at the amusement park, to small ones like a cozy chat over hot cocoa, creates a treasure box of moments we'll always remember. It's like putting together a scrapbook filled with photos and notes that bring back all the feels whenever we look through it. Trying new things with friends turns an ordinary day into an exciting adventure. It could be trying a new food, learning a skateboard trick, or exploring a place you've never been to. It's all about stepping into the unknown together and finding joy in the new experiences. Laughing and keeping things light make life feel breezy and fun. Sharing a funny video, telling a joke, or just being silly together can lift our spirits and strengthen our bond. It's like the laughter creates a bubble of happiness around us. Being spontaneous and playful adds unexpected fun to our days. It's deciding on the spur of the moment to splash in puddles during a rain shower or to have an impromptu dance-off. These surprises bring us closer and make our time together unforgettable. Celebrating what we've achieved, whether it's big like winning a competition or small like finally nailing a tricky math problem, feels amazing when we do it together. Cheering for each other shows we care and share in each other's happiness, making every success even sweeter. Going through tough times or facing challenges doesn't feel as hard when we have a friend by our side. It's like sharing an umbrella in the rain. Somehow the rain seems less dreary and we feel warmer inside just by being together. Creating special traditions, like an annual friendversary picnic or a weekly game night, gives us cool things to look forward to. These traditions become our own unique celebrations that light up our year with fun and togetherness. Appreciating the small gestures, like a friend's encouraging smile or their offer to help without asking, makes us realize how lucky we are to have each other. It's noticing and saying thanks for these bits of kindness that make our friendships glow brighter. Being fully there in the moment, really soaking in the time we spend with friends, makes every second valuable. It's like tuning into our favorite song and hearing every note clearly. This way, we capture the full joy of being together. Sharing joy and fun stuff makes our friendship sparkle. It's about making every moment count, finding fun in the everyday, and turning adventures into memories we'll always hold dear. By chasing joy and enjoying the ride together, we fill our lives with laughter and our friendships with warmth. So, let's make a pact to spread the joy, share the fun, and treasure every giggle and grin. Conclusion We've had a great time talking about how to be awesome friends and make life more fun. It's like we've been building a huge, cozy fort where everyone feels happy and safe. Being a good buddy means listening well, being there for each other, and having a lot of fun together. It's important that everyone feels like they belong and are cared for. We've learned that sharing our adventures and spending time together makes everything more exciting. Even when things get tough, having friends around makes it all seem a bit easier. It's like having a team where everyone helps out and supports each other. Let's keep making our friendship fort stronger by being kind, enjoying our time together, and helping each other out. Let's promise to always understand each other, share our stories, and make our friendship circle the best place to be. As we go on, let's remember all the fun times we've had and the lessons we've learned. Every day is a chance to make new memories and help each other smile. Here's to us, our friendship journey, and all the awesome adventures waiting for us. Let's dive into them with joy, laughter, and heaps of fun. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wisdom in Real Life channel.